can I help you? I um, saw you from my car and I came over to talk to you. Okay, Hannibal Lecter. Are you alright? What made you think something was wrong? Well, I mean, you don't really see people out here in empty car parks at nearly midnight unless something's wrong or they're a drug dealer. <laughs> Did you just compare me to a drug dealer? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> just came here to think is all. Do you usually pack for something like that? Yeah, I guess. Parents? I get it. Um, are you a musical fan? Yeah, I quite like Hamilton. <laughs> so does 80% of the planet. How about the Spongebob musical? What? Oh my god, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Imagine the worst cash grab you've ever seen. Okay. Um, Air Buddies, I think, would have to be the worst. Okay, that works. So, imagine the puppies were turned into humans. Kind of like some Tumblr fan art. And put that shit on a stage and give it songs that will be outdated in two months. That bad, huh? It's like paying someone to shit on your eyes for two hours. <laughs> that sounds harsh, but... I don't know enough about shitting on people's eyeballs to dispute that. <laughs> Neither do I, but it's very easy to imagine. Yeah, I suppose. Everyone has their kink. Would you like a jacket? Yeah, that'd be cool. I have something in my car. Okay, I have seen Texas Chainsaw. I know where this is going. I'm aware that sounds really creepy, but if I wanted to kill you, I would have done it by now. Okay, and thank you for those comforting words. No problem. I'm um, parked over there. Okay, cool. May I? Oh, yeah, sure. Would you like a lift home? No! I... I want to be anywhere except home right now. Okay, so what now? Let's do something. Like what? Anything. The options are endless. It's nearly midnight. We don't have many options. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's a good chance for us to be young and stupid. I don't think I have the strength to be young and stupid. Then I'll hold your hand during the scary parts, okay? Fuck it, I'm in. Hell yeah. Man, my friends would go nuts if they were here. Call them, let's go. But, okay. Oh, I'm in this. Hey man, you up? I was asleep. Are you serious? That's not me, that's my sister. So you share a room with your sister? Yes. Look, what do you want? Uh, there was... I was in this car park, there was this girl, she wants to do young people stuff. I'm very confused. Help me. Miles, uh, are you doing drugs? I swear if I was on drugs, I'd be way more into this. Please? Okay. Usual place? Yep. Oh, and call Roxanne. She might know more about young people stuff. Miles, I swear to God, if this involves weed... <laughs> Hello? Before you say anything, I'm not high. Well, good for you. What do you want? 
Miles met a girl in a car park and now he wants to go do young people stuff. Well, if he uses protection, he should be fine. Not that kind of young people stuff. At least, I hope. Help? What do you want me to do? Make sure we don't die. All right, I'll do it. If I don't have to drive or get dressed. Okay then. Usual place, 10 minutes. 20. Proud of yourself? Honestly, I don't know. So, this is Mystery Girl. Yep. She's very... Attractive? No, but... Don't worry. I get it. Yeah, you don't, though. So, you must be Lola. Yep. Sam, it's a pleasure. What are you doing? I was making a gesture. Well, don't! I've known you for five seconds, it's weird! Yeah, I... I suppose so. Alright, can one of you explain why I'm up at fucking midnight? Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, I'm Lola! Oh, it's great to meet you guys! Same! So, what do you guys want to do tonight? Go back to bed! Don't you fucking dare! If it helps make the decision any easier, I'm down with doing anything. We can go on a bushwalk. No! no. If it'll stand by me, it would be easier. Yeah, I'm sure finding a dead body is easier than going on a bushwalk. Come on guys, surely there's something each of us have wanted to do at night. I've got an idea. Alright, so we're going to write our ideas on these napkins. I'm going to keep them in my pocket, and when we want to do something, I'll pull one out and we'll do whatever it says. Like theme from a hat. Exactly! Let's go! Go to a supermarket? Whose idea was that? This isn't what I expected it to be. To be fair, I thought it would be open at night. Well, it's midnight in Tasmania and you're an idiot, so no. Oh, this sucks. I wanted to go in there. Maybe there's a back entrance? It's closed. And if there was a back door, it'd be locked. Okay, I'm gonna make sure she doesn't get herself arrested. Um. You two have fun. Hey, you have weird friends. Yeah. They keep it interesting. I like your name. <laughs> Thanks. It reminds me of a song by the Kinks. Really? Which one? Oh, it, it's called Lola. Oh, <laughs> I've never heard it before. <laughs> What's it about? I think it's about a transgender girl. Well. That's new. Normally songs written about women are men trying to get in women's pants. That can't be true. Roxanne's named after a song by the police. And what's that one about? A girl who was a prostitute. Yeah, I rest my case. It was locked. What a twist. Well, on to the next one, I guess? No, you still have to do something you want to do. Are you sure this idea was kind of screwed? There's no bad idea, just do what you feel in your heart. I kind of want to shout. Shout? Well, it's quiet here, it'd be quite fun to shout, actually. Shout as loud as you want. <sighs> that was a terrible idea. I am so sorry. All right, what's next? Let me check. Going to the beach at night. Hell yeah, that's me. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Well, that sets itself up quite nicely. Where should we go? <gasps> I know just the place.
right, dude? Yeah, I'm fine. I have a bad feeling about it. It looks cold. <laughs> Who cares? There's no one else here. Let's just go! Woo! Don't tell anyone about this. Otherwise... Well, that was terrifying. I'm actually scared for my life right now. I pee my pants, but even my pee is terrified. So, it's 1am, we're at a beach, with a girl we know nothing about. Why? She just didn't want to be home. That's all I've been told about. Do we even know she has a home? Are we sure she wasn't just living in that car park? It just felt like the right thing to do. The right thing. Yeah. How vague of you. Come on, admit it. You're enjoying yourself. Look, everyone's having fun. Oh my god, it's fucking freezing! Yeah, sounds like a real riot down there. Look, if you're interested in her, fine. Just don't drag me out of bed next time. You were not asleep. We both know you were watching the SpongeBob musical. You can't prove that! I could hear it through the phone call. You have me there. How was it? Cold! Very, very cold, but worth it. Totally not worth it. So, what's next, guys? I'm feeling really good about this. Oh, let me check. It says... nope. Uh, what? Nothing, let's move on. Stargay slash peanut bush. Like, at the same time, or...? I haven't done either. I thought it'd be a good idea. It's a great idea! Let's do it! Yeah, come on, ma'am. We'll help you. Never say that again. Ever. You got this, man. We believe in you. Y yeah, sure. sure. Guys, I'd like to say this is helping, but it really isn't. Go, go Miles, Miles, go! Go, go Miles, Miles, go! Go, go Miles, Miles, go! go. go. Go, Miles! <laughs> Guys, this isn't helping. All right, jeez. Yes! Yes! yes. Oh, I so wasn't good. watching the SpongeBob musical. Yes, you were. I could hear it. It wasn't the musical. It was the Macy's Day Parade performance. There's a difference. They're still doing songs from the show. Whatever, man. Shit. This is... Probably the most rebellious I've ever been. What do you mean? Well, I don't hate my parents, so I don't see why I would rebel against them. It's just a teenage thing to do. Not everything has to go by Save by the Bell logic. Do you hate your parents? Well, I'm not a fan of them, but I don't hate them. I'm kind of in the middle about it. I will take that. So, if I hate my parents, can I be on Save by the Bell? It's not exactly a requirement, but it does help. Why, do you, do you hate your parents? <laughs> They're pretty much the most awful people I've ever met. I, I don't say that as a teen who just doesn't get it. They're pretty much awful. <laughs> My mum's the worst. She just yells at me whenever we're in the same room. She yells at me for various things. Not having a job, not having my own place some overspending she claims I'm doing. Sometimes it's not even me, it's my dad. And when they're together, it's even worse. They just shout at each other. Sometimes all I can do is just lay there, <laughs> wondering if it's the right idea to stay or leave. Damn, that, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, sorry, went on a bit of a ramble. It's, it's fine. Sometimes those things are best spoken out loud. So Sam, tell us about how your life's pretty much the Brady Bunch. Okay, first of all, my, my family is a bit weird. The other day...
get it. You know what most other people would? It's not a very special thing to get. Well, it may not be unique to everyone, but it is to me. My parents are pretty much the same. It's nice to have someone get it. Normally people give me sympathy rather than understanding. And it feels real. What are you doing? You feel real enough to me. So, what's next on the list? Oh, oh, the list. Yeah, um, uh, um, um, dance in the moonlight or sunrise. I take it this is yours? How'd you guess? May I? I've got the perfect song. You found it. It's not a difficult song to find. Maybe I don't know it well enough. two ships passing in the night. Okay, yep, I get it. Thanks, so. It's fine. Wait. No, I think you should have it. Tennessee, 
And one day she said to me Virgil, quick, come see There goes the Robert E. Lee Now I don't mind I'm chopping wood And I don't care if the money's no good Just take what you need and leave the rest But they should never have taken the very best But now they drove all this down And all the bells were ringing The night they drove all this down And all the people were singing They went now 